So welcome to this video about food in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Food is a thing that every single person has to encounter at one point in their lives. And in media, like films, etc, it's used also to represent some aspects or even send messages on what the characters or person who is eating this thing does. And sometimes it's just the author of a work trying to show off what we know about the cuisine of another country. So I'll be covering this argument part by part since there's a lot of food present in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And also I won't be counting brutality eating, vampire eating and other stuff like that because it's not prepared in a kitchen or at least has no artistic quality of the cuisine to it. The first part I'll be going over is Phantom Blood and I will base most of these on the anime because it's easier to skim through. So if I miss something that's in the manga, please tell me, because I really want to know. One of the first things we see is Jonathan eating a steak, which seems to be rare or wine cooked with red wine. And next up we see Dio eating fish and chips with beans. And this is one of the many parallelisms between the two characters, showing the difference in class. In the scene from the manga, Jonathan, after thinking about his dead mother, eats a bar of chocolate. Erina Pendleton, when trying to thank Jonathan, gives him grapes. And grapes being a symbol of abundance means that she's well off too. During the part when someone is drinking alcohol, usually the drink is called Kronenberg, like the um, director. So when we first meet Baron Zeppeli, he's eating a tamezzino, which is a, like a very portable sandwich, very easy. So it shows up that he's a traveler and I don't know. And there's a very important shown to red wine in this case. I think it's made to characterize him, but also red wine is also like a sort of symbolic thing about blood. And since red wine also helps the circulation of blood, it's actually quite fitting. In this scene, Zeppeli is exposed to be an avid bread eater, as Italians usually are, since in Italy we get free bread for every meal. Right in this scene, Speedwagon is drinking tea. Tea is a ubiquitous drink in England, and here Speedwagon is shown to have like acquired some sort of class, which is usually associated with tea. That's it. In the restaurant, Jonathan and Erin are eating a steak, which could also be rare or with red wine with vegetables. The idea is still that, as for the wine, as before, blood is used as an analogy for the part. And the fact that Jonathan is very more comfortable with red wine shows that he has inherited this aspect from Baron Zeppeli. And it's also used to imply that Erina is pregnant, which is later confirmed. Since the first part is short, I'll be going over part two too. So the first thing we see in New York is hot dog and Coca-Cola, which are very symbolic of the new age of America. The mafia person is eating spaghetti, which seem to have a tomato sauce. Since the mafia is often associated with Italy, it could be sensible that he is he's eating that. The coffee that Joseph and Smokey are drinking is a style of coffee which is called Americano, which is a coffee with added water to make it less strong. In this scene, Joseph is offering tequila to these Nazi soldiers, which is a traditional drink from Mexico, and when hit, the soldiers say tacos, which is also a traditional Mexican dish. So the coffee that the soldiers here are drinking is still like an Americano or long type of coffee, which is used to show how much time they are spending in this place. In Italy, Joseph starts eating spaghetti al nero di sepia with red wine, Spaghetti al nero di sepia, as for the risotto nero, are spaghetti which then are covered in squid ink and garner a particular kind of flavour. On the background there's a lot of dead nature, which are used to represent abundance and are just very well known painting exercises. So here's a weird thing about what uh, Caesar is eating. So on the plate we see some spaghetti alla diavola, maybe. But when you counter Joseph's hamon infused spaghetti al nero di sepia, he uses rigatoni, which are not on his plate, but maybe there's someone else off screen. I have no idea, but he is what he is. Later on we see them drinking an espresso, which is the classic Italian coffee. I don't know if I should count water drinking, but here's a uh, glass of water. Back in New York, Erina is drinking tea, which reminds us that she's 
Lee's from England. In a scene not present in the anime, Lisa Lisa is drinking a juice cocktail thingy in Piazza San Marco. The thing is, Piazza San Marco is a very touristy place, as stated by Joseph, and the prices are extremely high, so this will imply that she's extremely well off. Joseph here seems to be eating mixed seafood, since at that point he offers this cat the tail of a shrimp and then a piece of salmon. And lastly, the last thing we see of food in the part is during the backstory of Caesar, where we see an American coffee, some cheese, some cooked ham, one more for their sandwich. And the general idea is that food being eaten but not completely and left with a hurry shows like a lively home where money is not a problem, which is then ruined by the disappearance of Caesar's father. And these are all the things I found in part one and part two of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure regarding to food. If I miss something or you think something else has a different meaning, tell me because I'm interested. So yeah, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.